So a playbook is essentially the most important component of Ansible. As it says here in the documentation, playbooks are Ansible's configuration, deployment, and orchestration language. They are the central and core feature of Ansible. They are how you will interact with your infrastructure. You will use, you will develop many playbooks in your Ansible career. They will be the primary tool that you use to instruct Ansible in how you want your infrastructure to look. Okay, so why would you want to use playbooks versus just having a big list of ad hoc commands, maybe perhaps in a shell script or in a text file? Well, a playbook is far more flexible and far more powerful than a list of ad hoc commands. When you execute an ad hoc command, you give it a module that you want to use. As we saw in the past, you can package module or the user module and um, many, many hundreds more options are available to you. Well, a playbook utilizes those same options, but it's much easier to utilize a module in a playbook than it is on the command line, as you'll see when we come to look at an example playbook. Playbooks also act as documentation for your infrastructure and its state. So if you want to understand what an infrastructure looks like without actually going and looking at the infrastructure, if it's been configured and managed with Ansible, you can actually just go and look at the Ansible playbooks. They will give you everything you need to know about what that infrastructure would look like. In fact, I'm confident that a well-written playbook will tell you more about the infrastructure than you going and looking at it directly itself. So not only are playbooks the core language or engine that you use to instruct Ansible on what to do with your infrastructure, but it also acts as much, much more than that once it's in place, once your state is in place. They act as documentation, they act as debugging tools, they act as the interface or the entry into which administrators use to manage your infrastructure going forward.